We're going to practice the skills of how to create a 2x2 two two table with basic information and from that calculate the positive predictive value. The example given is what is the likelihood that a person with a positive test for hypertension will actually have the disease. The prevalence of hypertension is given as 20% among a population of 10,000 persons 15 to 25 years of age. The test for hypertension hypothetical test is 90% sensitive and 90% specific. So in setting up the 2x2 two two table, we start with our column headers, which is hypertension positive and hypertension negative, no disease, and our rows of test positive and test negative. So a classic way, same thing we would do if we had exposure positive, exposure negative. In this case, it's test positive, test negative. We now take our 10,000 persons and we put them in the total column. Now that we have this in place, we then take the prevalence in the population times the 10,000 and calculate the uh, percent with hypertension, which is 2,000. We then do the um, subtraction to find out the number of people here, which would be 8,000. So we have our 8,000. Next, we take the sensitivity which is 90% to figure out cell A. So 90% of 2,000 is 1,800. We do the subtraction to find out what this would be is 200. We now use the specificity, 90% specificity, times the 8,000 to figure out cell D, which is 7,200. Do the subtraction for cell B, which is 800 and we can figure our totals. And here we have then our completed table. At this point, we then want to know the positive predictive value, which is the probability of the person having hypertension in the situation where they have a test that's positive. So among those who test positive, 1,800, with hypertension over a total of 2,600, equals 69 or 0.69 or 69% positive predictive value.